the Beechcraft Baron G58, and the Diamond DA62, two of the most incredible and powerful twin-engine aircraft. Packed with the latest technology and the level of comfort that many of us desire in a commercial aircraft, both these planes can do some seriously cool stuff. But which one's better than the other? That's what we are going to learn in today's video. Let's see what makes them special, how well they perform, how safe they are, and where they are best suited to fly. So stay tuned till the end to know which one could be your perfect flying buddy. Whether you're a seasoned pilot or just a big aviation fan, let's fly. The Beechcraft Baron G58 is a popular light twin-engine aircraft developed by the renowned aircraft manufacturer Beechcraft Corporation. The Baron G58 is a continuation of the original Beechcraft Baron line, which dates back to the 1960s. Over the years, Beechcraft has made several improvements and upgrades to the design, resulting in the modern and sophisticated G58 model. The Baron G58 is equipped with two powerful piston engines, providing redundancy and safety in case one engine encounters an issue. It has a comfortable and roomy cabin that can accommodate up to six passengers. With plush seating and ample headroom, passengers can enjoy a pleasant and relaxed flying experience. This aircraft is fitted with state-of-the-art avionics and navigation systems, including a modern glass cockpit. The Diamond DA-62 is a modern light twin-engine aircraft developed by Diamond Aircraft Industries, a well-reputed Austrian-based manufacturer of general aviation aircraft. The DA-62 is part of Diamond's successful line of aircraft and represents a significant advancement in terms of design and technology. One of the standout features of the DA-62 is its utilization of efficient diesel engines. These engines offer improved fuel economy and reduced emissions compared to traditional gasoline engines, making the aircraft more environmentally friendly and cost-effective. The DA-62's airframe is constructed using advanced composite materials, which provide numerous benefits, including reduced weight, increased strength, and improved aerodynamics. This contributes to enhanced fuel efficiency and overall performance. The DA-62 also has a spacious and well-appointed cabin, offering ample room for up to seven passengers. The modern and comfortable interior ensures a pleasant flying experience for everyone on board. Now let's compare the specs and performance of both aircraft. Cockpit The cockpit design of both the Diamond and the Baron is focused on pilot comfort and ergonomics. Controls and displays are arranged logically and intuitively for ease of use during flight. Both aircraft are equipped with a modern avionics suite, often featuring Garmin G1000 or G1000 NXI avionics. The G1000 system integrates multiple displays to provide pilots with essential flight data, navigation information, weather updates, and communication capabilities. Both of them feature a glass cockpit design, which means flight data is displayed on electronic screens rather than traditional analog gauges. This enhances situational awareness and makes information more accessible to pilots. And both of them are equipped with dual controls, allowing both the pilot and co-pilot to operate the aircraft. This redundancy provides safety and allows for smoother training and handovers during flight. Another great thing about both of these aircraft is their more advanced features, such as synthetic vision technology, which provides a 3D representation of the surrounding terrain, improving situational awareness, especially during adverse weather conditions. Engine the Baron is equipped with two X Continental IO 550C engines, kind of like the typical piston engines, but the Diamond is fitted with two X Austro AE 330 engines, and that's what gives the Diamond the upper edge, as the Austro AE 330 engines are diesel powered. They provide better fuel efficiency, lower operating costs, and reduced emissions as compared to the Baron's engine. Range the Beechcraft Baron has a maximum range of around 1,480 nautical miles and has an endurance of up to 6 hours and 30 minutes. As for the Diamond, well, it can go as long as about 1,740 nautical miles with an endurance of about 8 hours and 30 minutes. So clearly, the Diamond DA-62 wins this round, 
as it can stay in the air for a long time, allowing it to cover more distance without having the need to refuel. This can be very beneficial for you if you love longer cross-country trips or international flights. But wait, there's more. Cruise Speed The Baron can achieve a maximum cruise speed of approximately 202 knots, while the Diamond can fly up to 191 knots. Clearly, the Beechcraft Baron takes the lead in cruise speed, offering slightly higher speeds during flight. And while there are a few good reasons to help you better understand the difference, first, the Baron has twin engines of 300 horsepower each, while the Diamond has twin engines of 180 horsepower each. That's a clear difference between their propellers and speed as well. Second, Baron's empty weight is around 400 pounds, while the Diamond weighs around 3,400 pounds when empty. So you can understand why the speed difference between both aircraft is not too much. However, a lower empty weight does give an additional benefit for the Diamond with better fuel economy and a higher range than the Baron. Takeoff Distance The Baron has a takeoff distance of around 2,395 feet, while the Diamond can take off after about 2,060 feet. Max Payload Beechcraft Baron's maximum payload capacity is about 1,340 pounds. And as for the Diamond, its maximum payload capacity is approximately 1,350 pounds. That doesn't seem like a huge difference, but still, that could be why the Diamond can conveniently carry slightly more passengers and cargo than the Baron. Baron has a maximum takeoff weight of over 5550 pounds and Diamond has a maximum takeoff weight of slightly over 5,000 pounds. This allows the Beechcraft Baron to carry more fuel, roughly 194 gallons, resulting in a longer range capability, so you can reach more distant destinations without the need for frequent refueling stops, with added convenience and efficiency during longer flights. Not just that, but with a higher NTOW, the Baron can take off and land on shorter runways expanding the number of airports and airfields it can operate from. This capability is very impressive, especially when you have to access remote or challenging locations with limited runway lengths. Interior The Baron can accommodate up to six passengers, making it suitable for small groups or families. The Diamond has a larger cabin capacity, accommodating up to seven passengers. This additional seating option allows for more passengers on board. The cabin of the Baron G58 is well known for its comfort and spaciousness. With plush seating and ample headroom, passengers can enjoy a pleasant and relaxed flying experience. And as for the DA62's cabin, well, it is more aligned towards luxury and comfort, with a focus on providing a premium flying experience. The Baron's interior is typically designed with high-quality materials and finishes, providing a touch of elegance and sophistication. The Diamond's interior features modern styling and aesthetics, incorporating advanced materials for a contemporary look and feel. After a comprehensive comparison of the Beechcraft Baron G58 and the Diamond DA62, it's evident that both aircraft are exceptional choices, each with its unique strengths. The Baron stands out with a higher cruise speed, making it ideal for pilots seeking faster flights. On the other hand, the Diamond excels in cabin capacity offering luxurious comfort for up to seven passengers. For pilots valuing speed and performance, the Baron is an excellent choice. And if you are prioritizing spacious and comfortable travel with more passengers on board, the Diamond is the perfect pick. Ultimately, the decision comes down to your specific needs and preferences, ensuring a memorable flying experience tailored to your desires. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more aviation adventures. Fly safe, stay curious, and we will catch you in the next one. Happy flying, everyone!